Hey guys, it's Charlene. I have lost track of how many times I've recorded this intro. So today we are going to be going through some brand new products from Pink and Main. They sent me a giant box. I'm really excited to go through some of it and I know there's going to be some foiling products in there. So I'm going to give you my tips and tricks when it comes to foiling. So let's dive right in. Here is the giant box. I opened it up and I haven't taken anything out yet. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at all of this confetti. Wow. Okay, I've organized this as best I can because I wanna show you guys the amazing number of colors here. You want pink? You've got four different pinks. Uh, it goes into some corals as well as some yellows and greens and then we've got some kind of aqua and teal blue purple blue going into purple we've got three different whites here and then down here we've got our uh, beautiful this is called diamond and then we've got some silver gold rose gold which is really pretty and then this fun black color um, glistening night. If you're in need of confetti, check out all of the amazing new colors that are over at Pink and Main. I think I've organized everything here so I can go through this pretty quickly with you guys and then we can start creating something. So we've got some different size shaker covers here, really nice. We have this beautiful set of gems as well as this colorful ink spot paper pad. Let's take a quick look through here. Ooh, those are pretty. Yay, I love when there's like a paper pad with really easy bright color combinations that can just help bring your card to life. Gorgeous. We've also got the cherry cupcake. I love this. March mug. How cute with the little ladybug. Mice birthday. Okay. Oh, look at the little balloons and the little mouse tail. That's cute. I like that one too. The little bears and bunnies. Oh, super cute. Oh, those are really pretty sentiments. And there's dyes. Let's celebrate. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. Yay for cake. Isn't that the truth? Oh, this is called Sakura Blooms. How pretty. Look at all the flowers. Little teacup. Oh, adorable. Oh, nice word dyes. And they go really well with everything else. That's so pretty. Oh, this is cool. Cuts out a bunch of different frames. It looks like stitched frames. All at once, a bunch of circle frames stitched. Nice, cut and emboss folder. Ooh, that's cool. I don't think I've ever used one of these. Now for the fun foiling. What are these? Foilable cut-ups. Oh, those are so cool. I love that. I love this, love this, love this. So this is like ephemera that you can color and foil yourself. And then we've got some foilables, which this is tall cake. Okay, so these are like card friends. And spotlight. Is it a little balloon animal? <laughs> animal balloon foilables. Super cute. Okay, toner printed designs. Birthday backgrounds, foilable sheets. Very nice. You've got some banners, hats, the little balloon animals. Those are so cute. Birthday sentiments, adhesive transfer stickies. Oh yeah, I, I got to play with these a little bit at the last Crop and Create. These are so cool. You can use glitter, foil, embossing powder. And then we've got some beautiful cheer foil. What colors are these? Gold cheer foil and Caribbean cheer foil. This is pretty. I like, oh, and this has like little stars in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's very sparkly. Pretty, pretty. Let's get started. Okay, I've got my mini mink here, but you can use any kind of laminator for this. Um, just keep in mind that these 
foiling machines uh, tend to work better than a standard laminator. I have it set to three and it goes from red to green when it is ready to go. So let's start out with one of these backgrounds. These backgrounds are so cool. They are large enough that you could get two card fronts from them, which is really nice. I'm gonna start with this cupcake background. I like to use a sliding trimmer to measure out my foil. So I'm gonna measure this out to be just slightly over four and a quarter. So we're gonna do four and a half. And now this should cover the entire front of my card. When you're working with toner foils, you do wanna make sure you don't have any dust because any dust particles that are stuck to the toner card front or to the back of your foil, could cause the foil to not transfer properly onto the toner. And so I have just a little brush that I like to use, but you also could use a Swiffer, which works really well. You're just gonna wanna make sure to get everything covered with the foil. You can see I cut down that sheet in half and then put it into, what is this called? I can't think of what it's called right now. But we're gonna put it through here when it's done, you do wanna let it cool down because if you try to peel off the foil transfer sheet right away, it's going to, um, the foil's not gonna stick as well to the toner. So you wanna make sure that it has cooled down. So I'll just set it there for a moment. You can kinda wave it around in the air if you want to, that tends to help. But you want it to feel room temperature. You don't want it to feel warm at all when you're peeling off the foil. Doesn't take too long. That seems to be about ready. And now we're gonna, oh, you guys, that transferred so beautifully. Look at that shine. Wow. These are awesome. I also wanna try one of these foilables. So these are toner printed card fronts. You see they come in different colors. And so you can use your leftover pieces of foiling on these and you're gonna see the color through there. So when it's finished, you'll see the color through there. So let's see what color we wanna do. Let's do purple. It's like purple and then it's like red in the center. All right, same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure I don't have any dust on there. And then we're going to center this onto our panel and we can run it through. Okay, this has cooled down completely. And look at that, beautiful. I definitely want to try these foilable cut-ups. These are really cute. You've got cakes and just tons of different sentiments. I have an idea because I wanna use one of the stamps. So I'm gonna do one of these happy birthday sentiments. For this, I'm just gonna cut off a small piece of foil. So I just need enough to cover the sentiment. That's cooled off, so let's go ahead and remove that. Oh, perfect. Looks so good. So I've chosen this cute little bear holding a present from the A Gift For You stamps. We're gonna stamp this out in some alcohol marker friendly ink. We're gonna do some coloring. Cute. Stamp it twice so we can get a really nice bold black line on this. Start by coloring in our bear. I'm going to start with some 07.8 and I'm going to go around on the edges where I want the shadow to be. And I will come in with my mid-tone, which I'm gonna use 7.7, .7, and I'm gonna pull out that darkest shade. Now I can go to my lightest, which is 07.3, and blend that into my mid-tone. I'm gonna go back to my 7.7. .7. Now I'm gonna do the feet. Bring in some R5.3 for his ears. Now we can do his sweet little jeans. We're gonna start with B4.7 for the dark. Then we'll move on to 4.6 for the midtone. For my light, I'm gonna bring in a B2.5. 
2.0. This is really light. I've changed my mind. It was just too light. For his shirt, I'm going to bring in some BG 2.4 and 2.3. And I'm also going to color the heart on the front in some 2.3 of our little present. And I'll shade the bow here with the 2.4. I'm going to leave the present white, but I'm going to come in and shade with some of my cool grays. So CG1, and I'm going to pull it out with some CG0. And I'll use the coordinating die. Here's our cute little bear. I've chosen one of the sentiments from the same set. This is really cute. I hope this makes you smile. And I'm gonna stamp this in the same Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Now we can put our card together. I've cut down our cute little foil cupcake piece here into a circle. And so I'm just gonna glue this directly to another slightly larger circle that I feel like is a complementary color to our coloring we did on our little bear. I've added some foam tape to the back of the circle. And then I'm gonna place this in the center of our card base. Now I can glue our sweet little bear on here. Using like a circle like this is a really good way to create a home for your colored images. Your little critters can live on the circle, but then you can still have some nice white space back behind there in order to bring your focus in on your sweet little colored image. I've added some foam tape to the back of the sentiment as well. And I'm gonna use my reverse tweezers to go ahead and place this on here so I can make sure I get it on nice and straight. And I'm gonna bring it slightly over my little bear here. And you can see I've cut a little banner with some of the remaining foil that I had. And now I can put this on the inside of the card to bring a little bit of that decoration from the outside to the inside. This is also from Pink and Main, their little pick up, pick up and place tool. It's got a wax tip end as well as a pokey tip end, which is nice and sharp. I'm gonna put some of the aquamarine confetti on here. We'll do three down there and two on the right hand side here. And it's nice because you can pick up and then easily arrange your confetti using the pokey side. I like to arrange my confetti in an arrow shape. So you can see here's the handle of the arrow and then there is the point of the arrow there. Here's our finished card. I added a couple of cute little white gel pen accents. Oh, look at that shine and our cute little sentiment. I hope this makes you smile. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips and tricks and seeing all these fun goodies from Pink and Main. I'll see you guys again soon. Please be sure to like and subscribe as well as hit the notification bell so that I can continue to bring you more crafty content in the future. Until next time, happy crafting.